and last summer my daddy the preacher in a small room tucked in a corner at the Portland Public Library and about the pe preacher and how Clara Woods has arguably the best seat in the house it was just kind of comfy she was just like a pillow that thing. at just six years old she's already signing out chapter books like because of Win Dixie and I told Win Dixie he had to the perfect book to bring when you're reading to a dog like Grace whose job is to bring kids confidence when learning to read. I both got my name because then kids get to practice the reading if they're too shy for it. And really, there's not very many people, so nobody gets to interrupted. Clara is ahead of many others her age. You are a suffering dog, so maybe he will take you right away. News to her mother, Emily Brackett, who seldom hears Clara read aloud. In front of Grace, though, she had no problem finding confidence. She's so relaxed, so then I guess they pick up on that body language of just letting all their tensions go. At 12 years old, Grace has worked as a therapy dog in several different settings. See you later, Grace. It's at the library where her handler, Clara Robbins, sees the most relaxation. They can sleep on her, uh, they can read to her, and you know, she's not going to judge them. And she's cute. Max has braces like me. A cuteness that Greta Holmes couldn't wait to read for. Doesn't have to share a bedroom with me. Anyway. And who helps her work on those difficult sentences. It can help you, like if you get a word wrong, instead of just skipping the word, you can read it again. Everything. A no judgment dog that also loves to be included. The picture, Grace. <laughs> While teaching kids like Ella Huckle Bauer. Good, so you got it. I mean, kids love animals. They feel comfortable around them. And um, I think it's a great way to help them get a little more confidence reading. Most of the time, sadly. Grace loves a good book, and if you're up for it. I'm giving her a tour. She's always down for a walk through the stacks, past books that are just waiting for kids to dive in. The whole thing is keep on reading, because that builds up the fluency and it makes it easier, um, you know, and more enjoyable for children. See, or one it sounds like. As they read to Grace, it's hard to tell who enjoys the sessions the most. The Open Arms Basket Church of Naomi. Claire is pretty sure that she and the other kids come out on top. Shouldn't be too nervous. They shouldn't be too nervous when they're doing it. I was. And she's right about that. When you look into these eyes, though, you can tell it wasn't a bad day's work. Poke his head out of his shell. In Portland, Rob Nesbitt. News Center. He's a stray if I've ever seen one. He put down his pencil and scratched. When Dixie